Hey everyone! Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. So I'm very excited about today's episode because we're going to actually get these ferries running. If you remember from last episode, we built this ferry terminal. It's modeled after the Star Ferry piers that are in Hong Kong. The Star Ferry travels from Chim Sha Choi to Central or Wan Chai across the Victoria Harbor. So in this case, I have a little bit of water at the resort. I'm not sure where it's gonna go yet, probably just to the other side. But that's what the ferry is for. And if you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. Before we dive into that, I want to talk about Shockbyte, which is a server hosting platform where you can have a server to play with your friends. You can also host the online system map on there too, so everyone can take a look at the railway map together. Go ahead and use the code MTRMOD to sign up and get 25% off your first month at Shockbyte. Click the link in the video description to learn more about it. Now, let's take a look at what's on the other side and how we can connect this. So it's actually not that big of a body of water. The other side is also quite bare. But for the sake of demonstration, I'm just gonna put it like right here. Now pulling up the system map or the square map, it's a little bit easier to see what's going on here. I think I c could put the terminal like here at Bamboo Hill, but since I haven't proposed, like technically proposed the route, I think I'll just slap it down somewhere close by for now. And then it'd be really cool to put one at Proctor Bridge here because we can kind of snake the ferries through the rivers. Proctor Bridge, Ocean Line, that's kind of far. Hose Bridge. This actually connects quite far if you just follow the rivers. Okay, well, just for the sake of demonstration, I am going to, yeah, just go around here. Maybe not like so close to the edge here, but just, yeah, somewhere along those lines is fine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy the ferry pier now. All right, the positions are copied. So I'm going to stand at the edge of the water, probably at sea level is best, and copy, and rotate. And let's see where I want to put it. Where was I? I was around here, right? Yeah. Right around here. Which spot did I copy from? <laughs> okay, let's just paste it right here. And see how bad this looks. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Nice. Alright, just gotta clean up this area a little bit. So I'm gonna give myself night vision. Just so that I can work on this area a little bit. But other than that, just extend the bottom of the pier I guess. Well, these are command blocks that Navi was working on, but you can add those back in later. Other than that, it pasted in quite cleanly, I think. So maybe we'll have to extend this out a bit more. Hmm, and also the, the boat nodes didn't copy over. And we might have to remove this stuff here because the boats will hit this.
and untitled station. So that has to, that has to change. Oh, and the escalators are kind of broken. But it's a quick fix. I just called it Resort West. Maybe we can rename it in the future if we decide to. And let's see what else we have to do. Yeah, copy over the rail nodes and maybe the edge a little bit. I actually think I'm gonna fill in this manually here to like fill the fill the ocean basically just to patch this awkward hole here because this side has has much more space than the other side like even something like this would work and then the other side has a cutout like this similar to the opposite side maybe I'll create an extra block of space down here just so that the boats won't hit the bottom like that and I wonder if the rails copied properly yeah the nodes did so that's good So the platforms are going to be here. I just realized I left a hole here and I didn't copy all these pulls on this side. So I got to do that. That's going to be annoying. And also the front here. And also this part got cut off too. Alright, maybe I'll copy here first. Alright, there we go. Paste it in the missing parts. Now we just have to... Try to extend this down without messing things up. That's always a challenge. Why is there a hole here? Does that mean there's a hole on the other side too? Hopefully not. Let's go take a look. Mm, I'm so excited to get these boats to run. Yep, there's a hole here so we gotta fix it. Stack the thing down. 15 blocks seem to do the trick. Now this is the harder stacking part because it's a irregular shape. So a trick that I like to use is to extend this down to the middle. Here. So left click to set the first position, right click and then stack 15 down right click stack down right click stack down like that and it should work even for this side as well so if everything goes well this should stack nicely and yeah, we just have to remove this stone slab thing and we should be good. Nice, all right. Platforms are all set. I'm thinking maybe we should rename these platforms. I don't know, one and two. There's not really a rhyme and reason to this. I can break the WIP signs now I think because we're gonna get boats running in here pretty soon. 
And back on this side, I think I'm going to replace these sidings with actual platforms so that we can get going with the route setup, the dashboard setup. And same thing for here. Just like the other side, I think I'm going to make this platform too. All right, let's add our route. I'm thinking for this case, I'm going to make the boats go in a zigzag fashion, meaning that they will start here and then go to here. So let's say, hmm, what should we call the line? Star Ferry? I'll just call it Star Ferry for now. Or Resort Ferry, westbound. Alright, I just named it Resort Ferries East and West. So as I mentioned, the westbound would go platforms 2 and 2, and the eastbound... Actually, what I was gonna do was duplicate this. We'll see, you'll see why later. Alright, so we've got E1, E2, W1, W2. And W1 should go there, right? And then W1, it'll go E1. E1 from platform 2 to platform 1. And then W2 will go from platform 1 to platform 1. And then E2 will go from platform 1. Actually, that's... Yeah, okay. I'll finish this first. Platform 1 to platform 2. Alright. Now we have to put the depot somewhere. Oh. Let me just break these signs real quick on this side. Okay, so maybe my... It doesn't really matter where my siding will be because I plan to make this unlimited trains or I guess unlimited boats. So, how long is my platform here? Thirty-four blocks, which means my siding should be thirty-four as well. All right, there we go. I made a siding here, and the ferry will be here. Now, Let's grab ourselves some rails. Now, I, don't worry, I have diamond rails with me here, but I'm going to make the acceleration lower. That is going to be realistic, so don't worry. So, I'm actually going to make this just one rail all the way. Wait, no. Not one rail all the way. But I'm going to make the boat come out here to, let's say, right to the edge. And then I'm going to go all the way here and find the same position just so that the boat has space to like come out first. Yeah, and then one rail here, and one rail here. And then now this will reverse out. Ooh. Okay, let's just do this. This will reverse out to that platform on the left. Right about here, right? 
here and then this will go out to about here which will go to the right side on here I'll do this node and then here this one will come back out here and go here this might look a bit confusing right now but yeah see we have these this crisscross pattern so then the boats can serve both docks or both platforms I guess alright finally we're gonna add the instructions onto here resort so first we had W1 E1 W2 E2 yes successful and how many boats should I put I'll just do four boats and as I said the acceleration I'm gonna make it really low refresh that one more time all right cool here we go let me set the displays oh did it auto detect why did it detect platform 2 for both sides All right, I'll just do platform one for this. And then this one will be platform two. Oh, this looks really cool. I just realized the problem that in this crisscross section, the boats might run into each other. I don't know. Now where did the rest of my boats go? There should be four on the system and there's only one here right now. Hmm. Did it reset? Oh, I guess it reset when I changed the acceleration. So I'll do four now. All right, what was Navi saying earlier? Yeah, the platform for some reason is not sensing these platform blocks so I think what we have to do is some hacky design like this <laughs> like that should work so it's kind of like a hidden platform block oh I just realized what I've done by putting a platform block right there it made the node disappear but can we get on now? still no hmm alright, I have to troubleshoot this a little more okay, until I fix the code I'm going to have to put temporary platform blocks like this and then hopefully people would be able to get on yeah there we go now we can get on wow isn't this realistic the acceleration is just right as well look at that oh <laughs> yeah maybe this will be a problem the signaling <laughs> I just cut right through like city skylines. Okay. Well, we did it. We have a star ferry running, and it looks like it as well. 
Next station. Maybe eventually Jonathan's the boats will space Pier. themselves out. Passengers may change to the Lilac Light Rail. Yeah, hopefully. East Line, Metro Blossom East Line. Or maybe Dilux I should do Railway some better signaling and resort so that line, only Resort Hotel Shuttle, Callos hmm. Express, and Sightseeing Express Line at Jonathan's Resort. Yeah, there has to be some signaling Lilac thing Rail I can do so that the ferries will wait for each other. Yeah. Alright, so these are all signaled now. They should all be connected to the same signal block. And with the new coding changes, the ferry should wait at the platform until the signals are clear. Actually, wait, I just realized a big problem. It's gonna cause a gridlock. Hmm, this is annoying. Maybe one direction per signal color. I don't know. Right now, if there's one ferry traveling, then it's going to lock up the system. All right. Just revise the signals. Just ignore this part when the boats are coming out from the depot, because that only happened once. But let's see if this works. And this one's on its way and this one is entering. Has to wait for... Hmm. Ah. Uh, once that one travels onto this red one, this one should be cleared. Like, theoretically. So I think I need to make that happen. Okay. Basically for outbound travel, this should be cleared up. So red is outbound. So then the blue one can't come in until this one has exited. And similarly, I've got to remove these blue signals on this platform. Hopefully this one doesn't get stuck. Navi wants me to check out the Phase 2 LRTs, which are really cool, and I want to go check it out. Hmm. Are these signaled properly yet? Hopefully. I just want multiple boats to be going at once. But when I start adding more destinations, then I probably won't need to worry about this because each dock can go to a separate destination. So I don't have to worry about signaling. Although if I try to make the boats like What's going on here? The blue is occupied. Hmm. Yeah, well. Why are these two on the same? Here on the same one. I think S43 was having trouble with signaling as well <laughs> on, on the light rail system. I have no idea why... Okay, this one's stopping. Okay, good. I have no idea why this one made it all the way here, because this red one is connected. As long as these boats keep running, I don't really care that much. Like as long as there's no gridlock. I guess now at this point they're basically individually running already. Like the, the two blue ones aren't connected and the two red ones aren't connected. 
Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Uh-oh, is this gonna get stuck here? Okay, I've just decided to do one boat until I fix the code. Just wanted to take a look at the system map real quick to see our progress. So yeah, as you can see, the ferry pier station is connected to Kunwu and the resort. And let's see with the other modes of transport. So Jonathan's Resort, it's its own station with the high speed and the plane, but the ferry pier is separate. All right. All right, so Navi wants to show us his phase two LRTs. Wow, look at that. It's with high definition textures. This is edge of North Snowland. I have no idea where we are, but wow. These are also custom rails as well made to look like tram tracks that kind of blend in with the with the ground. Can we just get on this one? This is 1210. This is... Wow, the interior looks about the same except there's more electrical panels here which is present in the real one as well. And let's see, we have the display here. Whoa! Okay, the tr <laughs> this is a temporary turn back. The famous temporary turn back. And we have the yellow stripe on the door. That's a feature of KCR liveries. That's 917, route 917, fleet number 1078. This is 1210 coupled with 1090. And then that one is what? 1206. Nice, yeah. I think it looks really good, especially with these pantographs and the rails. Look how realistic that looks. Wow. And you've branded it with the Legend of Zelda. It's Tears of the Kingdom, right? <laughs> I don't know what, what was the name of the new game that got released, but I know there's a new game that got released. This is Route 923 to Temple of Time. Nice. Really cool. Okay. Oh, for some reason these in interior displays are not showing anything. Not sure why. Next stop. Maybe Temple Navi just forgot to add it. Station for the Zelda Light Rail or maybe it was hard coded. I don't know. Because this is a custom train. It can't have been. It can't have been forked from the base train type. I don't know. But yeah, really well done. I'm impressed by this train. Especially with the Zelda branding. That's funny. Oh, Navi got off. I guess this is going back to the depot now, yeah? Still a short line, but with really nice trains. Alright, so let's wrap the episode here. I really like this track design with the grass, the moss, kind of the overgrown feel. But yeah, this has been a lot of interesting things in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember, if you want to host your own server, check out Shockbyte. Use the code MTRMOD to get 25% off your first month. And if you want to join this server, please join the Discord and there will be instructions on there on how to join. So you can see for yourself these cool trains and the ferry system and so on. Let's get on this train. Alright, I hope to see you next time. Stay tuned for more, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and so you can get notified of future updates as well. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye!